briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2004, a case between Hidden Hills Community Inc. and Frank Rogers Jr. was heard by the Louisiana Court of Appeal. The case dealt with whether Rogers' property had violated building restrictions, known as restrictive covenants, which are agreements between property owners specifying building standards, uses, and improvements under Louisiana law. Since 1997, Rogers had cluttered his Hidden Hills property with non-functional items such as political signs, jugs, and TVs. Despite receiving violation notices, his property remained cluttered. The Hidden Hills Community, Inc. eventually filed a petition for declaratory judgment in September 2001, seeking to enforce their restrictions and have the trial court determine if Rogers' property was reasonably neat and clean, according to the subdivision restrictions. The trial court initially found that Rogers' property did not violate the covenant for being reasonably neat and clean. Both Rogers and Hidden Hills appealed. Rogers contested the trial court's failure to grant his exceptions of no right of action or cause of action and asserted the peremptory exception of prescription and abandonment for the first time. The Louisiana Court of Appeal reversed the trial court's finding and remanded the case. Upon review, the court ultimately determined that Rogers' property did not meet the reasonably neat and clean standard based on photographic evidence and witness testimony. The case was sent back to the trial court to determine the penalty assessment. Rogers was assessed all costs of the appeal. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.